you've replaced the water wheel a few times? I've been in and out a few times, yeah. All right, so our plan today is to take this old wheel out of here and roll it up to the shop where we can work on it and assess the situation. So the plan is now to just take this thing apart. There we go. You're calling these the buckets? Yeah. Okay. So we need to take those out. This is the one we're hoping to use. And that's going to be the new one. The new one here. Oh, wow. <laughs> I see you got one of those yeah. out there. I got one to try out to make sure it works. So then this goes on there. Drop that in place there. And then the weight of the water just kind of pushes up against this. Where the buckets are going to go? Yeah. That's where all these lines are? First they figured it out and laid it out to 16, which is how many buckets we got. Uh -huh. Way too close. So I had to the key out and figured out the spacing for 14. So that was a little close too. So uh, what I'm doing is putting spacers in here. Oh, yeah. And that tips it back a little bit. So uh, have more room to get in there. on cutting these metal angle iron pieces and I screwed in the buckets while he did that and it's even spinning oh. <laughs> and balancing so like I can spin it and it will stay put <laughs> so so far on this like very perfectly round log that we have it's going through the center <laughs> oh yeah you're talking about that earlier now that we have this together I was thinking of putting this uh, strapping. Yeah, metal, <laughs> this strapping. metal strapping. The buckets are connected together. Tie them all together. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. There. That's nice and tight all the way around. Yeah. So we got all the buckets on here, and now it's finally time to flip this thing on its side and start working on the gear. Right there. This is the shaft that's gonna be in the center of all this gears and sprockets and everything. Yeah, 
there. We gotta get all this as precise as possible, centered on the wheel itself, so that there's no wobbling going on when it's spinning. It's gotta be balanced. So you're thinking. Oh, that's oh, so easy. You don't even need a cheater oh, bar. Oh, wow. And these bolts on here. Oh, yeah, that looks awesome. We can bend them back a little more, but oh. we can just tap it down. Yeah, that's going to be and tight. that'll kind of center it. So Al's got this all marked out where these are going to line up. Holes are going to go in there. This is going to sit on there. I got to drill holes here and here, which will attach this to these and then the rails will attach to the wheel. This thing is looking so cool. This, uh, man, this is gonna be a hefty sprocket setup we got going on here. Alright, so Al went to the hardware store and found some fittings and pipes that might allow us to have this uh, rod going down the center actually fit tight around the spool. Goes two and a quarter from the end. Right there. Two and a quarter from the end. What could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> and then the rubber sleeve goes over top of that to create a nice tight seal around the rod that goes through the spool. All right, so Al got this end put together. So I'm gonna do the same on this side. We got metal rod coming through. Then the pipe is a sleeve. And this is gonna go over top of that pipe. And then this is gonna go over top of everything. The old tin can method. <laughs> This whole thing is held on by these four bolts that we're putting in. So the bolt goes through there, through the plastic spool, and tightens down with this hardware. We got a break in the weather, so. We're gonna take advantage and try and do some concrete work down here. been working he's been busy since I was last here while you were on vacation yeah <laughs> we got this thing made up yeah get that old plate bolted to this throw holes there bolted in just like we did on the other side ready to actually put <laughs> it in place today that that's yeah. great So we 
just need to take the bolts off of here, right? The South family is here to watch us put it in place. So, so excited. <laughs> it is the most beautiful day ever. Prop boots, you're ready. <laughs> See who's gonna help. He's gonna hold the, the wheel, put it in place himself. <laughs> yeah. Hello. We waited Hello. for him to do all the work. For yeah. Us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how this one lines up. Oh, it lined up pretty good. Wow. <laughs> oh, nice. Look at that one. Dang. Perfect. It's almost like you designed it that way. It's already going. It's been an entire winter coming. <laughs> All right, we're ready. All right, open the floodgates. Uh oh, it's spinning backwards. Hey, it's going backwards. Maybe it's going the right way. Oh wow! Oh, there you go. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. So the South family was home and everybody was so excited, including Al and I, <laughs> to actually see the wheel spinning. So we went ahead and opened up the door over there and let the water flow through and we all enjoyed watching it spin for a while. None of it was actually hooked up, so it wasn't generating electricity or, or working as it's going to eventually but we're all just so excited to watch it that uh, was a huge mission accomplished today so now it's in place and spinning now it's just time for the fine tuning to get all this lined up and the chain and the sprocket and everything together <laughs> So we're ready to generate power. Well, almost. <laughs> we got that thing to put on. Okay, we got this chain to put together here. Show you what I've done while you were on vacation. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh. This is one thing I, I see. Wow. The old ones up there against the. Oh yeah. This was the old door. Yeah. This that new one's a lot nicer. <laughs> Lined up. Started up there. I used the screen. Oh, lined up with the string. Uh huh. And bring it down. Uh, yeah. And I made uh, new covers here. Ooh, nice. And we had to put new grease on there. Grease on there. Uh -huh. That was painted just for a bit of time. So you raise that up a bit and so the water. water yeah, this looks like it's going to work really well. And this stand up here is a lot easier getting the oh. on and stuff. So you can step through here and stand yeah. right there? I see. I don't gain too much weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a narrow opening here. And we haven't really gotten a look at any of this since we started the project, so these are all the new grease fittings here. This is going on the under, yeah. Okay, this chain's going on the underside of the sprocket, Al says. Now, these are the parts I usually drop in the creek <laughs> at some point. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Just like that. Called it. <laughs> there it is. Get it in the hole. Quick. Yeah. And uh, this right. end in the direction the chains go. Yeah. The open end and other end. Yeah. It's on. 
connected. <laughs> and it goes up in that groove, goes behind there, wraps around, and then back down. All right, so Al's gonna add some grease to this chain uh, while I spin the wheel here. It'll spread out back and off. Just add some extra lubrication on this sprocket. We made it all the way around the chain with grease. So now we know it's well lubricated here. When the water comes down the chute, it's gonna hit the wheel and that's gonna cause the wheel to spin. As the wheel spins, the sprocket will spin. That causes this chain to move like it's moving right now. When this sprocket spins, the sprocket inside spins. As this sprocket spins, it connects to that one right there. <laughs> A lot of spinning going on here. When this sprocket spins, this belt spins. Yeah, this is just an old alternator. Okay. It's off an old Chevy. Puts out 12 volts just like a car. Mm. This is a switch to turn it on. And then there's another switch in the house. Okay. You have to turn on too. Okay. This light will come on. That means we're getting the pole bolt to the alternator. We have to get the pole here to excite it. And on the back of this alternator are wires that are connected here. And those wires run from the alternator there through these wires over to the switch. And that switch runs down these wires right here down to Al's house. Oh, so this is where Okay, you're... this is the switch that connects the water wheel. Oh, right. Yeah. There's a water wheel on it. Yeah, I just uh -huh. put that on this morning. Oh. Because okay. I thought you might want <laughs> so you'd know. So we throw that. Flip the switch. And that. Oh, yes, thank you. Connects out. Okay, so All that right. that connects it. So now that if, if we turn it on and it generates electricity, it'll send it through here. It'll send it through here and it'll go into these batteries. Oh, my gosh. Did you do that copper? Yeah. That and is it's cool. Great. They've never got any corrosion on wow. it. Wow, how it's neat. Copper pipe. So you just flattened it yeah, and drilled a hole in it. Flattened it and drilled so holes. cool. So now that light out there should be on. Oh, there's another or, switch outside. Oh, out we have there. to turn it on. Hey. There's a switch out here. Oh, there's the light. light. Ah, okay. So we've got 12 volts in here. Huh. And, uh, I, just, I want to run it just slow for a little bit before we connect it. So, okay. Uh, All right, so I'll. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Is it running? <laughs> oh, there it goes. Wow. <laughs> what do you think of that, Tracker? What do you think of that? Oh man. So we opened the gate there just a little bit. You can see the water sucking through there. See that? Swirling. Right now, it's just opened up a little bit, just, yeah, that's just to get to generate power. Okay. It's not enough to generate power right now? No, it's not going to help me. All right, so Al just switched it on. He's going to go all the way with the water now. Yeah. Or not all the way. <laughs> Whoa! It's spinning fast now. Oh, that is fast. Woo! That really started humming. Yeah. As soon as you kicked that out. Oh. It's skipping on that sprocket a little bit. It like catches. See that? Just adjusted that too much <laughs> there a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's not skipping anymore. Oh, 
So, uh, is there like a meter somewhere that we can yeah, see? Yeah. Okay. That looks better, 13.6, right. yeah. Okay. That's, so, that's what the alternator is putting out. So all right. 13. All right, so, so it's a 12-volt system, right? Yeah. All right, so that means we have success, right? Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy, too. I am so happy that, that we were able to learn from this experience mainly you i'm ex i haven't even watched the video yeah. i don't even know really how you did this you right. know uh and i'm just so excited to learn by watching the process yeah. of you accomplishing this ever since we first came here the first time we visited his cabin this was running and i was like whoa that is so cool and i was kind of like sad over the years to see it you know not working and I'm just super happy that we were able to take part in this process. And we're so grateful for you, Al, for letting us take part in this process and sharing this with us. Uh, we're super well, grateful well, for that. Well, Thank you I so never, much. <laughs> never would have got it done without you. Well, maybe At one day. Not this year, anyway. <laughs> not this year. Yeah, maybe, maybe. If, maybe eventually he would have got it done. He, he's a very... Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Al, you have this name written here above your bar here. What's the significance of this uh, name? Well, that was my nephew that uh, died of cancer. Mm -hmm. he, he had been up here not too long before. I got the first water wheel going. And then uh, after he died, I was feeling all bummed out. And, and I thought, well, what could I do that he would want me to do? So get that water wheel going. Mm -hmm. And it was almost finished. I finished it and got it running and named this after him. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that with us. That's that's really inspiring. Yeah. Like that right now that that really hits me because I've been having a lot of issues lately mentally and um, it put, it helps to put things in perspective. And you know, we're still here and we have life and something to do and you know health and some you know energy to do things and so what would you know people who are gone want us to do or have passed away or passed on exactly. that's that's really that's really uh really good perspective thank you for sharing that now you're welcome yeah Thanks, Al. I had such a great experience <laughs> building this with you. I well, sure uh, appreciate the help. Yeah. And you, you, you inspired me to do it. Uh, I couldn't have done it without you. Yeah. Not this quick, anyway. Yeah, I'm so glad to help. Mm -hmm.